Yeah, I mean, of course, as you said, we've got earnings coming up next Wednesday, the 22nd after the bell. And, you know, we've watched the stock pull back a little bit since March 26th, but it began to rebound again about April 20, uh, 22nd. And perhaps some of that's, uh, you know, uh, investors taking profit. Some of it might be some pressure from the new chips that we're seeing out there from their competitors. But nonetheless, we have uh, analysts weighing in. Now, NVIDIA anticipates about $24 billion in revenue for Q1 uh, at the midpoint. That would be about a 233% increase over what we saw last year. Net income, they're forecasting up about 416% at $5.62 a share. Bullish innovation and potential. Did you know NVIDIA is now being spotlighted by analysts ahead of their upcoming earnings report? In recent weeks, NVIDIA's stock has seen a flurry of activity, with price targets being aggressively adjusted in anticipation of robust results. Analysts are hinting at significant growth potential, especially in AI and gaming sectors. Will these optimistic forecasts hold up to the actual earnings release? They remain impressed with NVIDIA's best-in-class technology roadmap and the AI fervor by the customers is likely to be sustained, sustained yielding yet another strong quarter. However, uh, they think that a lot of that uh, AI-driven upside in the earnings is already kind of in there. They, they, they think that they're going to continue to see fundamental strength, but that's already well understood. NVIDIA's stock price just declined slightly on May 13th, down by 0.3% during morning trading, despite a positive forecast from HSBC analyst Frank Lee. Although the stock dipped, erasing an earlier gain of 1.1%, it follows a strong three-week rally, during which it increased by 18% and has surged 81.5% since the start of the year. Frank Lee, maintaining a buy rating on NVIDIA for the past 13 months, raised his price target for the stock to $1,350 from $1,050. This new target suggests a potential increase of 50.6% from its last closing price of $898.78. Positioning Lee as one of the most optimistic analysts among those surveyed by FactSet. Despite recent stock gains, Lee believes that the market still underrates NVIDIA's earning potential. He points to NVIDIA's new server rack systems and processor platform as evidence of the company's strong pricing power. For the fiscal first quarter ending in April, Lee anticipates NVIDIA will report sales of $26 billion, surpassing both its February guidance of $24 billion and the FactSet consensus of $24.45 billion. He also predicts sales will rise to $28 billion in the current quarter, exceeding the consensus estimate of $26.48 billion. Looking forward to the next fiscal year, which concludes in January 2026, Lee sees considerable potential for earnings growth, which he argues is still not fully reflected in the current stock price. He increased his earnings per share estimate to $45.16, a 45% jump over the fact set consensus of $31.05 and boosted his revenue forecast to $196 billion, 42% higher than the consensus of $138 billion. Out of the 60 analysts covering NVIDIA on FactSet, 53 have a bullish stance, 7 hold a neutral view, and none are bearish. The average price target among these analysts is $1,009, indicating a 12% potential increase from the recent closing price yet still 25% lower than Lee's ambitious target. NVIDIA's impressive performance over the past year, with a 216.3% increase in its stock price, outpaces both the PHLX Semiconductor Index and the San P500 Index, which have advanced 62.6% and 26.8%, respectively. It's really all about taking the technology we've, we've been building for seven years now and being able to turn it into a product for the automotive industry. So we're going to be investing further in increasing the data and compute to be able to train AI. I mean, the scale of ambition we have here, I think, goes beyond what we've seen from large language models today. Now, are you curious about the catalysts propelling self-driving technology forward? NVIDIA recently stirred the pot by investing $1 billion in British startup Wave alongside other heavyweight investors like SoftBank and Microsoft. This investment underscores a massive push towards innovating autonomous driving technologies. On Tuesday, Wave announced a significant boost, having secured $1.05 billion in a Series C funding round led by SoftBank. This round marks a substantial inflow of capital and a broad endorsement of Wave's approach to self-driving cars, which uses advanced AI to interpret and navigate complex urban environments. NVIDIA's participation as a new investor, alongside continuing support from Microsoft, signals strong industry faith in Wave technology and business model. Unlike Tesla, Wave doesn't make cars. Instead, it develops AI-driven software that it licenses to other companies. This software uses cameras and sensors to understand and adapt to varied and unpredictable urban conditions, from unexpected pedestrian movements to complex traffic patterns. 
The funding is more than just money. It's a vote of confidence in the UK's tech sector, illustrating the country's ongoing role as a leader in significant technological revolutions. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak lauded this achievement, linking it to the UK's history of tech innovation from the electric light bulb to the internet. From 2018 to 2022, the self-driving vehicle sector has been a boom for the UK economy, generating £475 million, which is about $596 million in direct investment and creating 1,500 new jobs. This is not just about advancing technology, but also about building an industry and supporting the economy. Wave strategy centers on what it calls embodied AI. This form of AI isn't just about recognizing street signs or avoiding obstacles. But you know we launched our second brand this year, which is Onvo. We hope this brand can enter the mass market, the mainstream market, given its high price to performance value. Expansion, innovation, and competition. Now, did you know that Wave will face strong competition against a rising Chinese company in Europe's electric vehicle market? NIO, a leading premium electric vehicle manufacturer in China, is gearing up to introduce a new model targeting the mass market by the end of this month. They're also planning a smaller electric vehicle priced under $30,000, set to hit European markets next year. NIO sub brand, Envo, is positioned to compete directly with Tesla's Model Y, aiming to offer premium electric vehicles at competitive prices. Additionally, NIO is developing another sub-brand, codenamed Firefly, focusing on smaller electric vehicles tailored for urban driving. These moves are part of NIO's broader strategy to expand into international markets, with Europe being a key target. The company plans to leverage its innovative battery swapping technology, pioneered in China, to facilitate quick and convenient recharging. NIO's approach is shifting from a subscription-based model to a more traditional sales and leasing model, allowing them to reach a broader customer base both online and through physical showrooms. In response to a slowdown in domestic EV sales and increasing competition, NIO is streamlining operations and looking to cut costs. This includes workforce reductions and potential spin-offs of their battery manufacturing division. The expansion of Chinese EV manufacturers into Europe comes amid an investigation by the European Union into potential competition violations. But before we move on, we just want to thank you for watching this far. Growth, Potential and Diversification In terms of investment, NVIDIA has shown remarkable growth over the past decade. Despite a significant drop during the 2022 bear market, the company's stock has soared more than 500% since 2023, reaching a market cap of $2.24 billion. With returns exceeding 20,000% since May 2014, NVIDIA has cemented itself as a major player in the tech industry. One of NVIDIA's key strengths lies in its position in the rapidly expanding AI market. As AI continues to gain prominence, NVIDIA's GPUs are at the forefront of powering AI applications and data centers. These GPUs boast energy efficiency and fast processing capabilities, capturing between 80% and 90% of the AI chip market. Looking ahead, NVIDIA's data center business is projected to experience substantial growth, with forecasts indicating potential sales of $160 billion by 2027. The company's revenue has seen a significant uptick from $16.67 billion in fiscal 2021 to $60.9 billion in fiscal 2024 with further projections estimating revenue of $112 billion in 2025 and $140.36 billion in 2026. Adjusted earnings are also expected to expand, reaching $65 per share by fiscal 2029. Given these promising forecasts, if NVIDIA stock maintains a price-to-earnings ratio of 30, it could potentially trade at $1,950 per share by May 2028, representing an upside potential of over 100%. While NVIDIA remains the strong investment option, investors may also consider diversifying their AI portfolio. Companies like UiPath offer an alternative opportunity for investment. UiPath, valued at $11 billion by market cap, specializes in enterprise-facing software platforms that automate business processes across various sectors. So if you're looking at the prospects for NVIDIA and NEO, the outlook appears promising. NVIDIA's dominance in the AI chip market, with a forecasted 80-90% to 90 share, indicates continued growth potential. With projections suggesting significant revenue and earnings growth in the coming years, NVIDIA remains a solid investment option for those interested in the tech sector. On the other hand, NEO's plans for expansion into new markets and the development of more affordable EV models signal a proactive approach to stay competitive. The introduction of sub-brands like Envo and Firefly demonstrates NEO's commitment to diversifying its product offerings and reaching a broader consumer base. Overall, both NVIDIA and NEO present compelling opportunities for investors, each with its unique strengths and growth strategies. 
As these companies navigate their respective industries, which of these tech giants do you think holds the most potential for long-term success? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know about NEO's battery swapping tech, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.